Now that Sega and Sonic Team had finally found a happy middle ground between giving fans the nostalgia they crave and trying out new ideas, interest in the heroic hedgehog was beginning to heat up again. The direction and some of the creative decisions were still questionable, to say the least, but Sonic's revival introduced him to a new generation of fans. This is the evolution of Sonic the Hedgehog, Part 8. 2016 marked the 25th anniversary of the very first Sonic the Hedgehog game. To celebrate this milestone, Sega announced two new projects, Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Mania was the first to release digitally for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch in August 2017. A 2D side-scroller that closely resembles the earliest Sonic titles. Mania is set in an alternate reality that follows Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles as they try to prevent Dr. Eggman and his robot minions, the hard-boiled heavies, from harnessing a mysterious source of unspeakable power. Eight of the game's 13 zones are remasters from previous titles, including Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plant Zone, and Hydrocity Zone while five zones are completely original. Mini-bosses await the player at the end of Act 1 in each zone, while main bosses appear after every Act 2. Special stages are entered via hidden giant rings and take the form of 3D courses similar to those seen in Sonic CD. There are seven special stages, one for each Chaos Emerald. There are also 32 bonus stages in this game, which can be accessed if the player has at least 25 rings and jumps into the star circle that appears over star posts at certain points. Reminiscent of the special stages from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, the player must collect blue spheres and can earn silver or gold medallions based on their performance. Should you collect all seven Chaos Emeralds in Sonic Mania, you can then enter a Super State when playing in Mania mode, meaning you can play as Super Sonic, Super Tails, or Super Knuckles, and blitz through the stages with extra speed, higher jumps, and invulnerability. Being in your Super State burns rings though, so once your rings run out, the Super State will end. Sonic Mania is not considered by Sega to be a remake, but a new game entirely, designed to emulate the style and gameplay of the 2D classics. Christian Whitehead, who had previously worked on enhanced ports of Sonic games, helped to develop Mania. Alongside Head Cannon and Pagoda West Games, who'd been heavily involved in the fan game community. Fans and critics loved it. It rapidly became the best-selling Sonic game in 15 years and was considered by many to be among the best of the 2D platformers. Metacritic recorded a very impressive score of 86, and the game resulted in a significant boost to Sega's profits. Twinfinite and IGN awarded Sonic Mania their Best of E3 2017 accolades, and Curse Network awarded it their Most Likely to Inspire a Completion Run award. Meanwhile, Electronic Gaming Monthly described Sonic Mania as one of the purest and most enjoyable Sonic games, and said, The question isn't if this experiment in reviving classic Sonic was successful or not. The question is, what happens next? A definitive version of the game titled Sonic Mania Plus came out in July 2018, and an Encore DLC was launched alongside a physical version of the game. Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel were added as playable characters in Sonic Mania Plus, as well as a four-player competition mode. Fun fact, to promote the collector's edition of Sonic Mania, a mock infomercial was released that closely referenced a similar comedic advert for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 back in 1993. The fake suggested price of $6,231,991 seen in the Mania infomercial is also a reference to the North American release date of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, June 23, 1991. The second game announced as part of Sonic's 25th anniversary celebration, Sonic Forces, came out in November 2017. Released on PC and for the same consoles as Sonic Mania, it was developed by Sonic Team, 
and follows our spiky protagonist as he joins up with a resistance force to take back the planet from, who else? Dr. Eggman. The game also introduced a new villain, a masked jackal mercenary known as Infinite. As seen in Sonic Generations, gameplay switches between classic Sonic and modern Sonic, although the addition of an avatar character offers a third gameplay style, with the custom-created avatar able to use a grappling hook and traverse platforms and attack enemies. There are different animal species available to choose from for the avatar, and which one the player opts for decides the unique ability they get in-game. For example, birds can perform double jumps. Cats hold on to some rings even after taking damage. Dogs restart with rings after a KO. And rabbits have extended invincibility after they've been hit. Despite this interesting concept, Sonic Forces was poorly received. It received a score of just 57, according to Metacritic. While the game's graphics were praised, repetitive boss fights and gameplay that had mostly been seen in previous titles did little to advance the Sonic series. Polygon awarded a 5 out of 10 for those reasons, and also disliked that the game's ranking system encouraged players to finish as quickly as possible rather than explore stages for collectibles. Sega did receive a pat on the back from the International Business Times for trying to please new fans with Forces and old fans with Mania, boosting the game publisher's reputation in hopes of a Sonic renaissance. Even though Sega claimed that Sonic Forces performed strongly in terms of sales, the fact that a discounted Sonic Forces new price version was later released wasn't exactly a good look. A mobile game titled Sonic Force Speed Battle was released in the same month as the PC and console versions, but fared much better. Its gameplay was similar to that seen in the Sonic Dash mobile games, but instead of being an endless runner, it pits players against each other in real time to see who can complete a random track in the fastest time. Sonic Forces Speed Battle holds a meta score of 71. On September 30th, 2021, the game passed the 100 million download mark. According to Rick Cowley of Pocket Gamer, Sonic Forces Speed Battle is a lot of fun to play, but there's a ton of grinding before you open up new levels. 2018 was a big year for fans of Sonic cartoons and comics. Tying in with the success of Sonic Mania and the existence of Sonic Forces, a 2D animated miniseries titled Sonic Mania Adventures appeared for free on Sonic the Hedgehog's official YouTube channel. The story picks up just after the conclusion of Sonic Forces and adopts the viewpoint of classic Sonic, who has just returned to his own world. The series was written and directed by Tyson Hess and interestingly features no dialogue. Instead, the plot develops using visual clues. There are five episodes plus a special episode. The series is watched by millions of people. In fact, a compilation of all episodes has almost 100 million views. IDW Publishing released their first issue of Sonic the Hedgehog the comic book in 2018, carrying on from the Archie Comics series of the same name. Heavily inspired by the video game universe, the comics see Sonic and pals constantly facing off against Dr. Eggman and his army of badniks. This particular series kicks off with the protagonist dealing with the aftermath of Dr. Eggman's most recent attempt at world domination, as seen in the Sonic Forces game. In December 2018, a one-shot comic book special was released by IDW Publishing titled Sonic Team Racing. It acts as a prequel to the video game of the same name that was released the following year. A 2D animated series called Team Sonic Racing Overdrive was also uploaded to the official YouTube channel in 2019 as a promotion for the game. Just like the Sonic Mania Adventures cartoon, the episodes are conveyed without dialogue. Fun fact, a lot of crazy stuff has happened in Sonic TV shows and comics, including a Great War. Based on the conflict briefly mentioned in the 1993 Sonic the Hedgehog TV show, the five-year battle between Overlanders and Mobians is chronicled in the Archie comics. Sonic is revealed to have been born during the early days of the Great War, whereas Tails was born five years later. 
This places the Great War between the years 3220 and 3225. Julian Kintabor plays a big role in the war, even becoming a warlord. Who is Julian Kintabor? Reverse the letters in his last name and you get... Yep, it's him. Again, Robotnik, a.k.a. Dr. Eggman. Team Sonic Racing! Team Sonic Racing, the video game, became available to play on PC and consoles in May 2019. Developed by Sumo Digital, who had worked on previous Sonic Racing titles such as Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, this newer title featured characters solely from the Sonic universe. In the game, Sonic's been taken to another world and entered into a race unlike any other. With a little help from his friends, Tails and Knuckles, he'll race to win the competition and get everyone home. A kart racing game similar to past titles, Team Sonic Racing set itself apart by zeroing in on the team aspect. The player competes as part of a team of racers, and the way to win involves efficiency and teamwork, as opposed to just speed. There's still a fast-paced, competitive quality to the game, but it features arcade-style elements as well. Gameplay is in a third-person view, as players can perform tricks, drift, and collect power-ups. A variety of game modes allow players to compete for points, take part in time trials, run custom races, or complete a story-based campaign. There are 15 Sonic characters to choose from, and everyone is assigned to one of three racing classes – speed, technique, or power, which determines abilities and advantages or disadvantages while on the track. Team Sonic Racing was warmly received and registered a score of 73 on Metacritic. IGN gave it an 8.5 out of 10 and praised the new team system, calling it a fantastic evolution of the arcade racing formula that gives you a real reason to work together. In December 2018, an official poster appeared for a Sonic the Hedgehog movie and kicked off what is perhaps the most bizarre chapter yet in Sonic's long and storied history. We'll feature more about this and the first Sonic open world game in the final episode. Uh, meow? Click the video on screen to watch the final episode of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs>